Oh, sorry. Hey guys, it's Target Cycling FPV, and I'm doing this, uh, getting this video here for a customer of mine to go over the Lightning, the, sorry, the TransTech uh, Lightning. Okay, so let me show you what we've got on the bench here. Uh, what I've done is I've got a TransTech Lightning setup, basically just the guts though. So I've got a TBS receiver plugged into the, uh, uh, using the plug here to UART3, all right, which is going to be this plug here. Now, here's the manual on this, right? So if you look at this manual, the manual is talking about the board sitting this way. So here's your um, OSD right here. Here's your receiver. It says TX2, but let me check something here real quick, hold on. Okay, so this is, I mean, it's wrong. This should say TX3. This is a mistake right here. Okay, so that's gonna be UART3. This is UART2 over here, which is gonna be on this side of the board right here. All right, so they've kind of screwed that up with the manual, but Anyways, so the question was, can the TBS work on this board? And the answer is yes, and I'm not sure why it was believed it couldn't, but that's not the point. Point is, it's my job to show you how it works, and this is how it works. So if you're going to use this plug and you're going to go into UART 3, then what you're going to do is you're going to plug that in, wire it accordingly, okay? So if you're using the plug here, then the yellow uh, is going to go to the TX, the white goes to the RX, and the order here is going to be, now the order is right, so RX, TX, 5 volt and ground the problem is is this is uh not two so remember that's going to be three okay once you plug it in and you go to beta flight okay you're going to want to make sure uart3 is on then you're going to want to go to your receiver tab and you're going to want to make sure you select uh serial via uart and select crossfire now watch when i turn this on my radio is already bound and once you see in beta flight you're going to see it automatically get to where oops let me move this a little bit Okay, and you can see my values are working. I'm using TBS, I'm using it through my module in the back, and we're good, we're good. So, that's one way to do it. The other option would be if you've wired it to one of the UARTs back here. Then if you do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, if you use the TX and the RX on the back, for example, then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna go to your ports, and you will just change it to UART2, okay? So, uh, and you're not you don't have to worry about smart port you can disable that here and that's it so that's all that you're doing guys that's that's how easy this is to get it working um, and that pretty much does it so if you have any questions I know my, my customer just wanted me to show them how to do that and so I'm, I'm happy to be able to show them so that's the instructions on how to get it done guys it is TBS compliant if anybody tells you that you can't run TBS on omnibus uh, f3 board they're wrong uh, and this has been updated to uh, what is that 6.17 I believe uh, firmware on I made sure to do that earlier to make sure that we were testing the right firmware for the uh, TBS receiver all right if you have any questions guys hit me up please as always follow us on our YouTube channel always appreciate your help and your support and as always please God bless uh, don't forget to go spend time with your family never know how much time you have left go make the most of it. you can always fly and do this kind of stuff later see y'all peace